We're coming to you live from the beautiful studios in the garden level of the Iowa State Bar Association. That's what we call the basement down here. For those of us who dwell in the basement, um, we've got the uh, train going by in the background. You may be able to hear the, the, the engine roaring and the uh, dehumidifier going out in the hallway. So, you know, life is normal here. Um, I want to thank you all for, uh, for being part of this celebration of Iowa High School mock trial. Um, we made it. Um, we weathered the storm. There's going to be a lot of puns. Um, sometimes literally, uh, I feel for the team yesterday that got the entire team got kicked out because of a, a thunderstorm in the area. But we found a, a silver lining in the clouds. Um, you, all of you, students, coaches, teachers, parents, friends, are just amazing. Um, this year, not only did the students have to deal with the challenges um, of mock trial and the case and the problem, uh, the exhibits, but you also had layered on um, all things virtual, um, new technologies, practice time challenges, scheduling issues, and the little thing called the global pandemic. Um, and yet here we are in the final stages of the Iowa High School State Tournament to celebrate, and I'm really proud of you, and I'm thrilled that you're here with us today. Now, for those of you old timers, that would be you juniors and seniors who've been around for a while, and some of you coaches who have uh, had to endure this, um, this program and programs like it over the years, you know that my notes now say, make a few appropriate comments about the case and competition. See, you all fixate on the, the few, whereas I fixate on the appropriate. So um, Zoom fatigue is a real thing. So I will try to do my best to be few but I do want to be appropriate. So there's much to choose about this year's case that I wanted to, uh, to just kind of chat about. Um, as you know, each year there are a couple of musts that have to go into the case or the competition. Um, so for example, each year we alternate whether the case is civil or the case is criminal. So that's your clue that if you're coming back next year to continue to participate, 2022 will be a criminal year. Um, I already have some, some good ideas, one that's been in the back of my head now for years um, that I'm hoping we'll be able to, uh, to see to fruition for 2022. No promises, um, but we're going to try to find a, a body or two. Um, I know that's always your number one request is if it's going to be a criminal case, there's got to be a dead body someplace. I'll try. That's all I can say. Second thing that's a, that's a must is um, reference to previous cases. Um, so for you seniors who have been participating since you were in um, sixth grade, there are six years worth of cases that are, um, that are, uh, sorry, I'm trying to adjust my view here, that are, uh, that are embedded in the case. Um, you, it's your job to find them. And I'm really beginning to regret the back-to-back -back art cases, you know, the forgery followed by the theft. Um, because those are really a challenge to fit into uh, to other cases. Um, thirdly, we have, to, um, we have to include some key bar association leaders. For example, the bar association president, vice president, secretary, president-elect, the young lawyers division president, secretary, vice president. And so you will see some familiar names, um, some of whom are may even be related to mock trialers. That's one of the great things about, the, about this job I've been in for long enough that I know people who were mockers or who have kids who are mockers who, um, who are now in power positions. So I feel pretty good, pretty job secure. Having said that, I've now jinxed myself, but um, I, I, I'm glad that, uh, that we have friends of mock trial in those high places. So for example, the Schnur Outdoor Pavilion is lovingly named after our president, Jerry Schnur, um, the, uh, the, the survivor of the, uh, of the tragic um, occurrence on that Labor Day, um, the, the Rhodes family is named after um, Young Lawyer Division President Tori Cuellar, and so she is Tori Rhodes. Um, and then the other thing we put into the case are stuff that amuses me. Um, and the key is that I hope you find the case challenging. I hope you find it topical. I hope you find it amusing, but mostly it's, it's about me. I put stuff in there that I think are, are, uh, are nice, to, nice to think about gives me something to do as I write cases. So this year we have three or four different things all going on. First of all, there's outdoor concert venues. Um, I thought about doing a top 10 list 
of uh, outdoor concert venues, you know, the Hollywood Bowl, the Gorge, the Red Rocks, uh, the Starlight Theater down in Kansas City, Max Yasker's farm in Woodstock, New York, all of those great things. And then I thought, I, yeah, yeah, we'll just, we'll skip that. Remember Zoom fatigue. But then I thought weather related phenomenon. Now there's, I think, believe me, it's no coincidence that this week is the National Weather Service's Severe Weather Preparedness Week. You may have, um, you may have heard the tornado sirens go off yesterday at about 11 o'clock in the morning, um, all, all around the state and actually all around the country. People were, um, were preparing for what to do in severe weather. Um, that was by design. I, I called in a couple of favors from the National Weather Service. No, it, I knew that it was going to be the severe weather preparedness, but I don't have that kind of pull. Um, so I thought a little bit about my favorite weather terms, things like St. Elmo's fire. Yeah, it was a movie in the 80s and 90s too, but it's, it's actually a real thing. Or Brontide or Chubasco. Um, bombogenesis, haboob, and who can forget derecho. Um, but then I, again, I gave that up as well. So all these things are things that I thought about and didn't do. I did learn something, however, after the case was published, much to my chagrin, if I had did a little more research, we could have really um, bolstered one of the witnesses. Um, there is an entire branch of medicine, it's called Corano medicine, that is dedicated to the study of lightning related injuries. Just think what we could have done with old Bernie Dorn, um, not only making him or her a weather expert, but a, a doctor in, uh, in Corano medicine. Um, and then of course there's the music. Now I, I promise you, I will not play a video. For middle school, those of you who were, who were around middle school, I tried an, an ill-fated attempt to, to play Love Shack um, because it was a, that basically was the, the case last, last fall. Um, so I'm not gonna try a video. I'm not gonna try some good Irish rock music. It was hard to find some that are PG anyways that I could play on Zoom and not get in any trouble. Um, but I did start thinking about some of the good weather related songs like the Scorpions Rock Me Like a Hurricane or um, uh, Here Comes the Rain Again by Annie Lennox and the, uh, the Rhythmics. Um, Bruce Springsteen's Thunder Road, which actually has nothing to do with weather, but you know it mentions thunder, or um, the, the the song, the classic song by the by the one hit wonders, the Weather Girls, called "It's Raining Men." But I did want to put the Weather Girls in perspective. Um, let me just reveal that our own weather expert, Bernie Dorn, who who I just mentioned a few few minutes ago or a few seconds ago, um, is actually named after a 1960s radical who was one of the co-founders of the Weather Underground Movement um, that was, uh, and that was Bernadine Dorn. Um, and then of course, the, my favorite weather related song is um, by the band Live called Lightning Crashes. Um, it's a band out of York, Pennsylvania. Perhaps you, you know where York, Pennsylvania is, it's in your case. Um, and it was founded by uh, two friends in York, Pennsylvania, Chad Taylor and Eddie Kowalczyk. And hence we get Taylor Kowalczyk out of, the, out of the band live. I digress, you're smart. You've already got all of the crazy illusions, but I do have one more for you that I challenged pretty much everyone I saw who was doing mock trial and say, do you know what Hayes Hamilton or Detays is all about? So first of all, I needed to work in Henry Hamilton. He's in line to become the uh, Iowa State Bar Association president in two years. Um, but I also wanted to provide a reference to a little more famous Hamilton, um, the one that you probably all know and enjoy the, uh, the, the musical. Um, and so now you should know what DTAs stands for. Don't throw away your shot, DTAs Hamilton. Um, so there, that is all revealed and that my friends are the appropriate responses or appropriate comments on with the show. See, I killed 10 minutes waiting for more people to come in bored you all to tears, and now we turn our attention to celebrating all things mock trial. Um, so again, I wanna thank you for being here to support um, the students who have done a wonderful job of being flexible, of, being, um, of coming up with creative solutions to get, stuff, get things where they need to be. Um, it's been an, just an outstanding performance. Um, I wanna recognize some groups that make all of this possible. Um, first of all, before I moved to, uh, moved to Iowa, low these many years ago, um, I, was a, uh, I was a high school teacher in Durham, North Carolina, 
And I have um, a great appreciation, abiding appreciation for all things that educators do for you, uh, both in the classroom, out of the classroom, um, taking time to prepare you not only for um, this competition or for your upcoming tests, but in general to prepare you for life. Um, and so I want to um, congratulate all of the teachers who were involved in the program this year. Secondly, I want to recognize the lawyers, both the coaches and the judges who, um, who gave selflessly of their time to make this program work. Um, we had judges this year from upwards of eight or nine different states, so Iowa and eight or nine more states. That's one of the miracles of Zoom, is that since we didn't have to drive all over the state and judges didn't have to be in a physical location, they were able to Zoom in from as far away as Hawaii um, to, uh, to make this program work. And then coaches, um, I wish that we could give you something more tangible like CLE hours for all of the countless hours that you put into this program to, uh, to get students to understand how the legal system works um, and, and uh, prepare them with the case and uh, the intricacies of the legal process. Unfortunately, the Iowa rules, the way they're written, um, we're not able to do that. So, uh, so all you have is my grateful appreciation as well as the bar associations for giving your time and energy to, uh, to helping these, these tremendous young people. I also want to inter um, also want to thank a, a third group that doesn't fall neatly into the category of teachers or as um, or as as lawyers. I affectionately call these folks the mock trial junkies. Some of them are former mockers. Some of them um, have former parents of mockers. For whatever reason, they can't get enough, and I am eternally grateful that they give selflessly of their time. To, uh, to work with you as coaches, as team, team parents, as, um, as supporters, some of them as judges. Um, they, are, they are what the, the, the oil that, that greases the wheel here. Um, those mock trial junkies deserve our, uh, our eternal thanks and praise. And then I wanna also turn my attention to the parents, the families, the friends, the observers who support the students in all of their endeavors. It's tough over Zoom, but believe me, they knew you were there. Sometimes they actually knew you were there when you forgot to mute or turn off your camera. But even without that, they knew you were there. They could feel the, the, the good vibes. They could feel the love coming through the, the Zoom waves um, to support you in, in doing this, um, this amazing thing. Finally, I wanna thank the Young Lawyers Division Mock Trial Committee. Um, this was a challenging year. Um, when, I, when I talked to the, the, the leadership back in, in March and April of last year, when we had to make the decision to shut down that state tournament, I said, we're going we're gonna to figure out a way to make this work this year. Um, it'll have to be maybe virtual. It may be in person. We're not sure. And they said, yeah, sure, go ahead. But every step of the way, they were supportive. Um, and they went out of their way to make things as, as smooth as possible. So I want to uh, specifically thank Christina Thompson, who is this year's chair, um, and then uh, the three folks who will be taking Christina's spot when she, uh, when she leaves that post, um, either next year or the year after. Those are Olivia Brooks, Aaron Jones, and Amy Mapes. Um, See, so it's gonna take three people to do the job that Christina did all by herself. Um, but what a great team. Um, they they held, um, helped me run this, this wonderful program. And finally, um, I would be absolutely remiss if I did not mention the person who's most responsible for this year's success. Um, she, I'm not sure she knew what she was doing, but Lauren came to me at the beginning of, uh, of the pandemic and said, you know, I've decided to take a gap year before I head off to George Washington University in Washington, DC. And just wondering, you know, do you need an intern? And I said, well, <laughs> do you know what you're getting into? She said, yeah, I've got this long list of things that I want, I really wanna do. It's like, okay, that's fine. But if you're my intern, you're gonna to have to do the things that I wanna do. Um, fortunately, those paths align. Um, Lauren took the idea of, of let's figure out how to do virtual mock trial and ran with it. Um, she hunted down a variety of different systems that we could use hunted down experts in different states, um, hunted down um, people who've, who've done mock trial virtually for years, gathered all of this, we met, 
all summer to put something together that we then tried out on your colleagues, the middle school students, and then we fine tuned it. So um, I know there is a, there's a, a thing at the bottom of your screen that says reactions. Um, if I could just have you either, either put the thumbs up or the clap signal for, uh, for Lauren, for all of her tremendous work in making sure that this got done. She is the, she's the brains behind this stuff. And now I'm, we're actually going to recognize the, the 24 teams, the students that did all the hard work so that we can um, turn our attention to, to the great things that you've been able to accomplish. Um, I want to, uh, I want to oh, yes. recognize, I want to recognize all 24 teams. I'm going to do it not by those crazy codes, but alphabetically by your, um, by your, uh, your school. Um, and so I'm going to ask that when we announce your team, um, if you could at least have one or, or more of you light yourself up so we can actually see, see you on the screen. It's, it's not attendance. No one will be getting a failing grade if they're not here, but I would love to see some of the faces um, that are associated with these teams. So congratulations to the following. First, from Ankeny High School, team code KMJ. We asked the teams to go ahead and submit photos. Some of you were actually able to get together for photos. Others were had to kind of cobbled together through the, the Zoom Brady Bunch thing, but uh, I appreciate it. I, I get the chance to, to see you all, hopefully next time in person or next year in person. Congratulations also to code NRH from Carlisle, Team Lightning. Congratulations to Team HCE from Dowling Catholic, Team Party Mock Anthem. I knew there had to be some Dowling folks here. Congratulations to Team ZKA, Hampton Dumont Cal High School. Again, some of the lucky ones who get to gather in person. Congratulations to Team EFA Harlan High School, Team Red. I appreciate the slippers too. That was that's a good touch. Congratulations to Team DAL representing the Hiawatha Legion Post. Congratulations to team DGJ from Independence High School. Congratulations to team JAV from Iowa City High School team Sophistry. Congratulations to Team OTH from Iowa City High School, Team Law. Congratulations to Team WUA from Iowa City High School, Team Arit. Congratulations to Team MNT from Johnston High School, Camp Mach 2, the final jam. Congratulations to Team Code XEM from Marion Homeschool, Team Logos. Congratulations to Team OIT from Marion Homeschool, 
team ethos. Congratulations to team XOT from Marion Homeschool, team Pathos. Somebody finally put the camera down so I could actually see you. <laughs> Congratulations to team code PMR, Robin's Mock Trial, team Wednesday. Congratulations to team code XDM, Robin's Mock Trial Team Sunday. Congratulations to team AAO, Roosevelt High School Green Team. Eliza, I like the fuzzy, uh, the fuzzy headphones. Thanks. <laughs> Congratulations to team IXL from Roosevelt High School Blue Team. Congratulations to team WHL Roosevelt High School Gold Team. Congratulations to team TYA from Spencer High School, team Corn Snakes. Congratulations to team code WJZ from Urbandale Mock Trial, team Statera. Congratulations to team code VHQ from Urbandale Mock Trial, Los Trajes. Congratulations to team code ITW from Waukee High School Stormtroopers. Congratulations to team code OGP from Waukee High School, team Lightning Mock Queen. And I will note with this team, I'm disappointed because there's only seven coaches for the eight team members. I'm assuming that one of the coaches dropped out mid after the, the round had started. Um, congratulations to all 24 teams that qualified for the state competition this year. It was um, an exceptionally tough competition. Um, as you know, we normally take 32 teams to state from a field of about 100 to 110, 110 or 120 teams each year. Because of the virtual nature, we ended up with 80 teams participating statewide. Um, and for the most part, the 30 or so teams that did not participate um, are not usually the teams that end up at state at the state competition. Some of them are. Um, but it meant that we compressed the, the, um, the skill all into one 80 team tournament. So qualifying for this competition was exceptionally tough. All 24 teams um, should be commended for making it this far. So congratulations to, uh, to all 24 teams. Now among the 24 teams, there are quite a few seniors who are now ending their high school mock trial adventure. Um, some of you are relative newcomers. Um, you've been involved with mock trial, the Iowa mock trial for the last year or two years. I'm sorry because last year's was, was cut off and this year's is, is this weird virtual thing. Others of you have been around for most of your high school career, if not for all four years of high school. Some of you stretch back to middle school. Um, and then there are those um, who have participated for all six or seven years. Um, you, my friends, 
are the heart and soul of the Iowa mock trial program. And this is why I have a box of Kleenex within reach because um, it's your participation, your passion that makes this program work. Um, as I read through, or I'm not gonna read it, but as, as you look through this list of graduating seniors this year, um, I recognize so many of you wish that I could be there in person to see your excitement, your enthusiasm, feel your passion for this program. Um, some of you, as you see, have been involved for, for six or seven years. Um, some of you may even come from playing fast and loose with the rules and are a red shirt senior for the second year. And so you've been nine, nine competitions. Um, as I said, you guys are the ones that, that really make this program happen. You guys are the ones that, uh, that keep me coming back for more. So I'd like to ask if there are seniors who are on this to go ahead and light yourself up so that we can, we can wave, we can, we can do that little emoji thing and, um, and give you a great big round of applause virtually. Thank you seniors for all that you've done for the program and will continue to do. <clears throat> and the plan is to go ahead and post a copy of this, um, this recording to the website so that you can see your name or see your, your teammate's name and be, be very proud of them. <clears throat> Again, congratulations, seniors, for your time, your efforts, your energy to make this program happen. And now I want to move to um, the uh, the individual awards. So this year we had um, we had uh, an additional challenge with two rounds of competition instead of three for every team. The process is similar. We asked judges on our new virtual ballot um, to fill out scores and also to nominate students for individual awards as outstanding attorneys and as outstanding witnesses. Many, many of you will find your names listed under this, this special spot on the ballot. Congratulations. If you were nominated by, um, by two judges total out of the four that completed ballots, whether that was two as an attorney or two as a witness or one as an attorney or one as a witness, you are at least honorably mentioned for all state mock trial um, here in Iowa for 2021. In order to receive recognition as an all-state attorney or as an all-state witness, a student would have to be nominated by both judges in a single round in either the first or second position. So one judge would either have to be one or two, the other one would have to be one or two, but two and two did not get you there. So one would have to be a one, the other one was a one or a two. It was a tough competition. Lots of great students um, winning, winning awards, some coming very close. And so first I'm going to start with our all state attorneys. These are in no particular order. They were done as I received ballots. And so they are not alphabetical. They are not by team code. They are just as random as I could get them. Congratulations first from team code NRH of Carlisle, Sam Wilson. Congratulations to from team code ITW of Waukee, Sarah Sample. Congratulations from team code VHQ of Urbandale, Kira Fodosa.
Congratulations from Team IXL of Roosevelt, Kariana Klassen. Congratulations from Team PMR of Robbins, Joe Semeroff. Congratulations from Team Code XDM of Robbins, Joanne Lee. Congratulations from Team AAO of Roosevelt, John Puri. Congratulations from Team OGP of Waukee, Colin Brown. Congratulations from Team XDM of Robbins, Ava Challenger. Congratulations from Team Code IXL of Roosevelt, Madeline Fialkov. Congratulations from Team Code OTH of Iowa City, Soshana Hemley. Congratulations from Team Code WJZ of Urbandale, Quinn Panos. Congratulations to all 12 all state attorneys this year. Way to go. Nice job. Now, as I mentioned, the criteria for all state witnesses is the same. Again, if anyone was nominated by two judges throughout the competition, they consider themselves honorable mention for all state honors. To receive all state honor as a witness, these students were nominated by both judges in a single round in either the first or second position, one of which had to be the first position. Again, there were many students who are deserving. These are the ones that we deem all state. Congratulations from team code ZKA, Hampton Dumont Cal, Michael Rosenberg. From team code DGJ from Independence, Molly Rothman. From team code HCE, Dowling Catholic, Ellie Coleman. From team code TYA of Spencer, Shaler Van Gilder. From team code TYA of Spencer, Jasmine Edwards. From team code OTH of Iowa City High, Toby Epstein. From team code OGP of Waukee, Tommy Stroud. From team code KMJ of Ankeny, Logan Weathers. From team code PMR of Robbins, Davis Rowe. From team code OTH of Iowa City, Madeline Helwig. From team code DGJ of Independence, Grace Williams.
from team code KMJ of Ankeny, Elizabeth Clark. From team code WJZ of Urbandale, Sia Smith. Congratulations to all 13 all state witnesses in this year's competition. Job well done. So as you know, we've only completed two rounds of competition. We are going to award four trophies this evening um, to the teams that finished 12th, 11th, 10th, and 9th. Each team will be mailed a trophy that looks something like this. In fact, it looks exactly like this. Um, it's portable, it's mailable, it is breakable. If it happens to get you in pieces, let me know and we will order a new one. Um, the competition, as I mentioned, was extremely um, uh, well fought this, this year. The scoring was very close. There were a lot of trials that were determined by um, uh, less than five points total, a lot of split ballots. And so trying to rank the teams was a bit of a challenge. Um, at the end of the day, there were five teams that finished this competition the first two rounds with a two win, no loss record. All five are advancing to our quarterfinal round on Friday. In addition, we ranked the remaining teams based on points, based on ballots, based on margin, based on strength of schedule to come up with three additional teams to participate in that quarterfinal round. Based on the rankings, then we also are, will award these four trophies this evening, 12th, 11th, 10th, and 9th. Taking home the trophy for 12th place this year, congratulations to Team IXL Roosevelt Team Blue. Finishing this competition in 11th position and taking home the 11th place trophy. Congratulations to team NRH of Carlisle High School. Finishing this competition in 10th position, taking home the 10th place trophy. Congratulations to team AAO Roosevelt Team Green. The final trophy given out tonight, in fact, the one that I actually have right here in my hands, the ninth place trophy is awarded to team EFA of Harlan High School, Team Red. Congratulations to Roosevelt Blue, Carlisle, Roosevelt Green, and Harlan Red for a tremendous competition. Well-deserved trophies will be heading your way soon. Now, as I mentioned, the remaining eight teams are going to have to play again, have to work just a little bit harder to get to where they want to be. Um, those quarterfinal matches will take place starting at 430 or mock trial time 430, as close to 430 as humanly possible. Um, tomorrow, this same link works for that. Again, I encourage the teams to come in a little bit early so that we can sort. We didn't have to do the sorting today. We will have to do the sorting tomorrow. I'm going to announce these teams by their matchup. It is not by rank. It is by matchup. Um, and so I will announce the trial one plaintiff, the trial one defense, two, three, and four. So facing each other tomorrow. And I will also send the Zoom information, this, this matchup information to the coaches immediately following these announcements. Quarterfinal one, the plaintiff will be represented by team XEM of Marion Homeschool. The defense 
in trial number one will be represented by team XDM of Robin's mock trial. In the second quarterfinal, the plaintiff will re be represented by team code OGP of Waukee. And the defense is represented by team OIT of Marion Homeschool. In trial number three of the quarterfinals, the plaintiff is represented by team code OTH of Iowa City High School. The defense in that trial will be represented by team code PMR of Robbins mock trial. And in the final trial tomorrow, the plaintiff will be represented by team code DGJ of Independence. And they will face off as the defendant, team JAV of Iowa City High School. The situation on tomorrow's trial, the winners based on the judges' ballots will advance to the semifinal round held on Saturday morning, then the championship round held Saturday afternoon. Again, I wanna congratulate all 24 teams for a fantastic tournament this year. I wanna congratulate the 12 teams that are receiving trophies. I wanna re uh, to reach out to the 25 students who've been honored for all state, um, all state attorney or all state witness. Thank the many of you who are, will receive honorable mention um, honors as well. Coaches, are, Lauren and I will be working to get your ballots and comments back starting tomorrow. We are prioritizing the eight teams that are going tomorrow afternoon in the, in the quarterfinals. We hope to be able to get at least some ballots and comments from the first two rounds of the state tournament to you prior to the beginning of that trial. All of the other teams, the 16 other teams, we will be working on Friday and Saturday through the weekend to get ballots and comment forms back to you so that you can see um, the nominations, see the scores, see the very valuable comments that the judges have left for you. Um, you will also be receiving certificates um, in the mail. There is also a um, prototype or a template of a certificate on the website. Um, and, uh, oh, by the way, you'll probably get an invoice as well. We have not gotten that far yet. Parents, observers, um, family who came out to support the students in their endeavor, thank you. Um, thank you for your patience. A lot of times you were sorted last into all the Zoom rooms, um, but we could really, do, we really did feel the good vibes. They knew you were out here supporting them and they stepped up. I can't tell you how proud I am of the job that Iowa high school students did this year amid all of the other responsibilities and all of the other challenges. Um, they said yes to mock trial and I'm hoping that mock trial said yes back. So again, congratulations to you all. For those eight teams, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow um, for your quarterfinal rounds. Those of you who are underclassmen, I welcome you back to the 2022 competition for a criminal problem, hopefully in person, so I can actually see you and feel the positive energy. Those of you who are seniors, again, thank you so much for your service to this program. I welcome you back anytime to help or to judge or to assist. Um, we love you and we want you to succeed. Thank you so much for everything this year. Good night.